Sara Ali Khan probably is one major reason to stay away from Atarangi Ray. Having said this, you will also realize that she's a young actor and she should have been subjected by a renowned director like Anand Rai to tone her down and ensure that she's not over the top, which she ends up being in the film. An actress like her with a mother like Amrita Singh should have certainly known the nuances of uh, cinema. And even 30 years ago, I don't think Amrita would have gone over the top in a film of this kind. Yes, she's central to the film. And she had all the focus in the film, but minutes into the movie when she's running around and people chasing her, you know, here's a platform where she's going to overdo herself. And that expectation or that assessment comes true through the next one hour and 40 odd minutes, a short film, Adrangi Ray, out on an OTT platform. Interesting cast, Dhanush, Sara Ali Khan and Akshay Kumar. The film revolves only around the three of them. There is, of course, extremely talented Shima Bishwas coming in for a very minuscule role and less said the better. We have this girl who's always running away from home because she's in love with this magician who's out of the country and is going to come back because he's gone abroad to learn a few magical tricks. Fortunately or unfortunately for her, there's a cure, a uh, change of events or a march of events that lead to her family, a feudal gang in Uttar Pradesh. They manage to kidnap a medical student, Dhanush, and forcefully get them married. But as I told you, she's already in love and she's looked multiple times before and therefore the family thinks the best way to cut it down or get her off their checklist is to get her married and so Danush becomes the victim. Unfortunately, Danush himself in the role of uh, Venkatesh, a South Indian doctor, is in love with a girl called Maddie and uh, Maddie also happens to be the doctor of his professor. So he knows not only his marriage, his matrimonial life, his love life, but also his career is at stake because she happens to be his professor's daughter. You know those unsaid stories about the medical field, how you have to please your professors. There's a nice little side story on that. What happens, obviously, when uh, Danush and Sara meet up with one another or when Venkatesh and Rinku meet up with one another, there's bound to be some kind of chemistry between them. And then the challenge. I'm not going to tell you what the larger picture is, but it is an extremely interesting principle, gone come completely all right. Ashok Ra just misses out on telling a subtle story. Coming as it does from a man who's given us film like Tanu Ved Manu series, who's given us Ranjana, fails. And I would again repeat, fails largely because of two factors. One is Sara Ali Khan being over the top and two Akshay's character completely wafer thin. Even after it's explained later in the film, it turns out to be very, very wafer thin. Maybe the, the director could have done a little more in establishing his character, but no, it doesn't take off. The one takeaway from the film is that very endearing performance from Dhanush is not the stereotypical hero that you see in most films, but he lends this film his all. This is his second outing with uh, 
the director, Ranjana was earlier. I mean, there he was with uh, Abhay Diol and stood his own in that movie and did a very good job. In fact, even in Shamitab, I think he was one takeaway factor in the film. So he is good talent. He's done his job well, but that does not save this disaster called Atrangi Ray. Notwithstanding its short length, notwithstanding the names, unless you want to see a good performance coming from Dhanush as it does, this is not a film that I would unhesitatingly recommend to my viewers. Before I sign off, acknowledgements to Datu and Abhinav. Stay safe, have a nice day and yes, a very safe, happy, healthy 2022. Good day.